What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Now, a lot of people been asking me, Truth, you got to go back to Chicago. You got to speak with one of the guys who involved in the drill culture. Speak to some of the new people who involved in the drill culture. A lot of people seen my interview with Big Wani the first time. We did over 250,000 views in like a week. Uh, he gave me an opportunity to speak with him again. Uh, I, I'm not sure if he realized a lot of people be listening to his voice, so I was lucky enough to get the opportunity again. But for the people who kind of like under a rock who don't know what's going on, you were telling me exactly where you're from, bro. From Obama. Now, I want to ask you something, you know, because we didn't hear our last interview and we kind of got into like where you're from and things like that. Um, I, I want to ask you, since we had the last interview, you caught any backlash, anything in the interview you might have said people didn't like? Shit, all I don't know what I They said I was high as hell. That's what they're going to say. Any, not to cut you off, any of the guys kind of had a problem with anything you said? No, not really. Motherfuckers just talking to me and shit. But it wasn't nothing major. Right. I wanted to know that because I hear a lot about, you know, these interviews get people in trouble. You didn't feel like you had to look over your shoulder after the interviews? Because I've seen nah, some 16 shots. Like, certain interview. fuckers who say something, but shit, if you respond like shit, my responses don't be shit. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't really speak on it. Right. When you do them interviews, it seems like a lot of people start watching them and feel like they get to know who you really is and shit like that. Um, I want to ask you a personal question. Uh, was rap something you always wanted to do, or did you just see the cloud and say, I want to do that, because it was there? Nah, shit. At first, I was playing this shit when I was shorty. I was like 15 and shit. I made a little song, and everybody was fucking with like my homies and shit. It wasn't getting like views. Like, like for a 15 year old, I was doing decent. Mm. Like 30,000. Shit like that, 40,000 and shit. But as I got older, I'll I be going out and went to jail a couple times. So it's like, mm. it like, it be fucking me up. But she, right now, I'm working a little bit more than I was. Way more than I was. I've been in the studio three days in a row. Mm. You know. Shooting a video tomorrow and shit. Are you shooting a video tomorrow? Yeah. Hey. Okay. What's going to be the video? It's called Critics. Oh, that's that song you got on your Instagram. I seen that. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to get the visual of that? You going to shoot that in Chicago or you going to go off location in that video? Yeah, I'm in a rap. In a rap. And I'm glad you said that because that kind of leads to my next question with you saying that. Uh, I kind of want to bag back though. You said something about jail. I want to know, because I hear a lot of rumors about, you know, when the rappers go in jail, it'd be a problem. You know, they get beat and things like that. Did they know you as Big Wani when you went in jail or you was just a regular person? No, I didn't know I was. Yeah. So is it an issue soon you walk in there with like, when you get in there, do people test you because they no, don't know you're in there? Yeah, niggas gonna dick ride us, yeah. Like, damn, we on that shit, bro. You got some motherfuckers that's tough ass, goofy too, though. Like, everybody ain't no hoe. But everybody ain't gonna try. Like, they don't, they, they choose and pick and choose who they wanna try that shit with. They don't try that shit with everybody. Like, if your name good, you good. But if you got any type of fucked up shit on your name, you done got went on, motherfucker beat your ass too many times, taking your shit, yeah, they gonna go on. Right. Um, have you seen any rappers in there? Do you see your enemies, like some of the rap ops and shit? Do they be in jail? Or is that something y'all leave on the street? No, I don't really bump them in jail. Right. Like, I've seen a couple of them in court. Yeah. But you, you know, you chained up in court, you can't do shit. What am I supposed to do? Spit on the motherfucker? Right. So, shit. You see motherfuckers in court? That's it. I wanted to ask you that because I see a lot of that. Uh, I was never on deck with no op. Like, you know? Since juvenile, I'm like, that was a long time ago, like four years, three years ago. Right. I hear a lot about it be hard when the drill artists get in jail, because I hear a lot of stories about, nah, like, niggas gonna Lil know Jay you. and stuff in jail. Nah, niggas gonna know you. Yeah. But shit, they gonna fuck with you, too. Right. Because who you is in the world. Right. The niggas in jail, they, they niggas from the world, so they know already. But you got niggas from out west, north, east. 
So everybody don't know you. But they, they get around quick. So my friends are going to get to know you quick. See, I wanted to ask you that. Because I hear a lot of legendary stories about, like, Lil' J and King Von and, like, Pete Rico yeah, and stuff. Yeah, like I was that. a juvenile. Them niggas was in jail. Right. Uh, um, I hear a lot about Jay, though. I seen you speak on him in your interview with 16 Shot of Visuals and Cam Capone. Yeah. Close friend of yours? Yeah, that's my brother. And I heard you said he he was like supportive because your new video, well, one of your videos just hit a million views and you kind of tagged his name in the caption. Hey, yeah, folks is, folks is on some, um, like when I dropped that shit, we was paying motherfuckers like, like we was paying motherfuckers like, whoever, we get our shit to 10,000 in a day because that was my first video, getting right. out of shit. Right. We give motherfuckers dollars and shit. We gave them like two, three hundred dollars. Just, Get my shit, like, you know, pub, pub, you know, promoting this shit on my own. So, shit, folks wanted me to get the end the next day. My shit would kind of 10,000. Mm. Folks, you know, I got your shit 10,000. I mean, hell, now I got my shit to 10,000. So, it was like, yeah, you know, that was my dog. Right. Uh, you know, I actually hear a few artists take shots at him, too, you know, in the music and shit like that. Um, how do you feel about that? How do guys feel like that? Is that the reason why these rap beefs kind of get out of hand? Is because of the dissing and shit like that? Dissing? Oh. Yeah. That shit old. Oh, that shit back in the day. You still dissing. You ain't got shit to do. It's money to be involved. All type of shit. Like, you can rap about fucking hoes. Right. You can rap about getting money. Shit, you you could lie now. A lot of niggas be lying anyways. <laughs> right. <laughs> so shit, you could do anything. You know, I don't want to front with you either, Wani. Now, you know, I kind of got some questions I want to ask you. You know, I got you in that seat right there. The fans ain't going to be happy if I just let you get out without at least testing the waters for some of them. I want to ask you, you know, um, news recently hit the internet where the police is alleging five guys from Oak Block. And I'm pretty sure you know all of them, if not some of them. Uh, the police is alleging that they were involved in FBG Duck case. I want to know, what, what what came to your mind when you seen all that shit 